On day three, the long-awaited debate over Article 30 took place. The total time spent on Article 30 lasted about an hour and a half. If passed, the article would allow legacy farms to replace 200,000 square feet of commercial space on the north side with 180 age-restricted housing units. Roy McDowell of Legacy Farms started off with a presentation giving the specifics of the zoning change. Again, this is a summary of the benefits we talked about. Less school-aged children, town-wide trail network, downtown capital improvements, reduced traffic. So when one looks at it and says, well, gee, we'd like the commercial up there, is it zone commercial? Yes, it is. Could we build it? Yes, we can. But we think it's a better fit for the community as a whole. It's a better fit for the development, traffic-wise, revenue-wise, and the general appearance of that particular section of town to have this, and uh, we look forward to your support. Many were for this, and some felt it is a better area of land for housing units over commercial space. I sat back and removed myself from the situation and looked at it from a more um, town planning perspective. And I had a bit of an aha moment. And my aha moment is, why would we put a commercial development near our state park and far away from major roads? The look of it is not going to be the commercial, but rather a res residential. And um, in terms of the school children, I work in the schools, and I know that we are trying to figure out where to put another school because of the increase in uh, children. So while I love children, I think it is probably um, a better thing to not have that additional um, population increase there and appreciate that the, um, that the, the condo association would put in 9,000 if there were um, children that, that came along with the uh, over 55. Um, the other thing I think is if less industry to me means less industrial waste. Some were against and felt the commercial space would be more beneficial to the town. A year later, where are we? We've got the, in my view, the challenge before us is to better manage our growth that we're facing now and not to add to it. So some main reasons I'd like to suggest to vote no this evening. We voted for the Osmud um, years ago for this, the biggest project to hit the town. That's the Osmud stands for Open Space Mixed Use Development. With the permanent elimination of half of the commercial square footage that we uh, voted for at that time, it's almost like it's becoming a major residential development. So that's right off the bat, it's, this seems to be changing the will of what we approved with years of planning and debate and a huge town meeting vote. So just wanted to mention that. Secondly, we need to really fully, re fully realize the public benefits that we have already had in the arrangement. All the towns east of us have grown. We can't support that density. We are not on the Quabbin Reservoir. We're not an MWR8 town. All of our water comes from local wells, public and private. I'm not convinced that 180 homes on 20 acres is sustainable use of our aquifer. Perhaps the most controversial part of the Article 30 debate was the standing count. It took three times to get the final tally. It failed the required two-thirds majority in the first count, with 82 against, 157 for. Then a second count took place, and Article 30 passed with 166 for and 82 against. Then a third count was asked for, and there was 171 for and 85 against. The article passed the required two-thirds majority by one single vote.